Good morning. This is Saturday, November 12th, and today is the day at 1 o'clock. We start packing your shoe boxes. We're shooting for 300 boxes. We can do it. If you're watching this and you live nearby, be here at 1 o'clock. Help us pack and pray over these boxes. And Carla Jean, that means you. You can, you can drive down from Sabatis and help us pack boxes. Today's devotion is the changed life. Just let you know it's at 1 o'clock. This is the changed life. 2 Corinthians 5. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. We under, what understanding, what challenge do you have of the salvation of your soul? What understanding do you have about the salvation of your soul? Your salvation moment. What do you think about it? The work of salvation means that in your real life, things are dramatically changed. You no longer look at things the same way. Your desires are new, and the old things have lost their power to attract you. One of the tests for determining if the work of salvation is genuine is to ask, has, has God changed the things that really matter to you? Jobs, entertainment, pleasure, money, family. Has, how has God altered that through your moment of salvation? Where is your focus now? Because if we still learn for the old things, it's, it's crazy to talk about being born from above because we're deceiving ourselves. If the old things of the cosmos, the sin of the world, if, if we are still in that after salvation, we're fooling ourselves. That's not a new life. The old things have passed away and everything has become new. If we are born again, the Spirit of God makes the change very evident in the real life and the real thought of salvation, of being saved. It says you shall know them by their fruits. And when a crisis comes, you are the most amazed person on earth at the wonderful difference that there is within us. There's no possibility of imagining that you did this. It is, complete and it is a complete and amazing change that is very evident in a life that has been redeemed. What difference has my salvation and my sanctification, my entire sanctification, what difference have they made? For instance, can I stand in the light of 1 Corinthians 13? That's the love chapter. Read that today. Or do I squirm and evade these issues that the love chapter represents? True salvation worked out in me by the Holy Spirit frees me completely. As long as I walk in the light as he is in the light, that's 1 John 1. God sees nothing to rebuke as I do that because his life is working itself into every detail, every part of my being. Not on a conscious level, it just happens. It's like our kids as we raise them up. They walk in the presence of mom and dad. And out of nowhere, somebody says, they look just like their dad or they look just like their mom. We didn't go up there and say, look like me every day to them. They just did it automatically because they're in our presence. Same principle with, with looking like our father in heaven. We walk in his presence, and pretty soon everything about us looks like his son. The challenge I have for us today is to take some time and honestly reflect on our salvation. Take some time and really honestly think about our salvation. The question I have is, are you saved? Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for uh, these challenges that you place before us. And I pray today, Lord, that we would honestly reflect on... Has the old things, have they indeed passed away? And has everything become new? Or is there a draw? Maybe we're even dabbling in things of sin, things of the world that don't belong in the life of a Christian. So, Father, today, could we stop and honestly reflect on our salvation? It's all through the power of the Holy Spirit. But, Father, help us really, truly ask ourselves the question, what difference has our salvation and our entire sanctification made? We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you at 1 o'clock.